have you been thinking about it, but oh, should you put that for sale sign outside or not? The market is hot right now, and I have the guy that has the answers to those questions. Darren Rhodes is here from Castle & Cook Mortgage. If you watch Real Estate Essentials with Jay Deere uh, uh -huh. right here on ABC4 and Saturdays at 4, maybe you've seen him before. From time to time. From time yeah. to time. Yeah. Um, tell me about the market. What should people know if they're buying or selling a home right now? Boy, the market this year is, seems to be really hot. I mean, people are getting their homes listed and they just sell super, super quick. So. What about qualifying? If you're sitting at home saying, I, I don't want to make that move because I don't think I will qualify, what should you do? That's a great question. So, I always recommend that people look into the financial part of buying a home before you actually buy the home. So I know it gets really, really exciting. You think about the house and you want to get into that new place and you get all excited about that part. And then the money part is kind of the boring part. But if you can think of the money part first, especially in a market like this, then you'll be prepared and ready to go to buy that castle when it when it pops up. Well, I yeah. feel like so much of the time when we've been looking, trying to figure out where we'd want to build or buy a home, our thing is, we don't know what you need, what we could afford. Right. Do people come to you with that question all the all time? All the time, all the time. In fact, you know what is interesting? Um, a short time ago, I had a client that called me and said, hey, Darren, I'm thinking about buying a house probably one or two years out. I'm probably not even in a good spot to do it. And I said, well, let's sit down and look at the numbers and see what we can come up with. And, uh, you know, after we went through all their numbers and everything, they were actually qualified and they were in a home 45 days later. So if you do that part first, then we have time to maybe fix any problems that you weren't aware of or, you know, come up with the right numbers that you want, you know, so that when you find that house, the numbers are already in place and you know where you're going to be. Well, and Darren brought us do's and don'ts when shopping, when shopping for a home, and that is the first do is yes. start early. Yes, start early, even a year. Even a year. If you're going to buy next summer, let's get pre-approved. Pre okay. Yeah. The next one is guard your credit. That's a, that's a do? That is a do. <laughs> do guard your credit. Yeah. And there's probably some do's and don'ts that come with that. But uh, yeah, you definitely want to guard your credit. What does that mean? Okay. So um, once you're pre-approved, don't go out and buy that boat on credit. You know what I mean? <laughs> you don't go buy that car. You know, you just keep your credit safe. If you ever get sent to collections, maybe you have a small medical bill, or maybe you're on the run from the BMG CD club. You remember those? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, then if you get uh, into a, a collection situation, get it paid off, get it fixed. Don't, you know, don't dig in your heels over 35 bucks and have that go to your credit and ruin your score. Just, yeah. Well, another do that you had was save as much as you can. Uh -huh. How much would you recommend someone, I mean, saving let's say a percentage of their income each month, what's kind of the typical thing that you would need to get started on getting a home? Okay, so that's a, a great question because there are now a range of mortgage products that allow, uh, you know, from a large down payment to even no down payments now. So some of those products have come back into the market and there's some great products out there for no down. So you'd say to yourself, well, if I'm getting a home with no down payment at all, why do I need to save money? Well, if you save money, then it will open up your options down the road. And so you may, if you have extra money saved up, even if you don't use it for the mortgage, it may give you options to get a different mortgage that could be better for you. What's so great about Darren is you do the fun part, the driving by and looking for a house, and he'll do the boring part. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yes, that's absolutely right. He'll figure, so. <laughs> he'll figure this all out for you. If you have any questions, he's at Castle & Cook Mortgage. All their information right there on your screen, along with Darren's cell phone. So you can give him a call today. It's right there. We'll put that on our website. Uh, go to Good For You dot com slash gtu i'm darren thank you so much for being here and see My you pleasure. again on real estate essentials thank you Thanks every for saturday me. right here at four yep and right now we get to check in with glenn and see what's coming up on midday